Welcome all to a very special Friday feature for Total War. Normally you'd be getting our campaign. Uh, you may have noticed that our campaign episode was absent last week. And that's because Tim got really, 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 really sick uh, over the weekend. Totally lost his voice. We probably were fine to do it yesterday um, when we recorded. We recorded on Wednesday. But just to, you know, take it easy on his voice... We figured, hey, let's just do a battle. Uh, this will be pretty brief, and we recorded this last night, and I'm just going to go over uh, basically a replay with you guys. Um, so we did a battle in Warhammer 2. I played as the Empire. Uh, so I've got, I'll take you through my units here. Um, I'm going up against Tim, who is playing as the Dark Elves, and we'll definitely go check out his units here soon as well. Uh, so if we can go from front to back, I create, made sure that I had my front linemen here, hand gunners, ready to fire down on the hill. Um, I figured, I don't know, maybe I should have brought some more, but for the most part, I love the way that they can just keep up fire and they just slash through armor with no problem at all. Behind them, ready to fall back behind the spearmen here, this wall of spearmen that I have. Not the best unit, but a good average unit. I figured the rest of my... Uh, army would do most of the killing. I just wanted to hold his guys there. I didn't know who he brought. He brought not a lot of infantry, but they were a lot better than mine. So this is a, uh, at least as far as a matchup between Dark Elves and Empire goes, ends up being kind of uh, a proof of concept, if you will, of what's better as far as quality or quantity in soldiers. Uh, and you'll see how that ended up working out for us. So I've got this line of spearmen. In reserve to the spearmen, I've got uh, on either flank here, uh, I brought some halberd halberdiers, yeah, some halberd troops. Uh, I figured I usually put them on the flanks out here to protect from cavalry charges, kind of see what they were doing. Um, and then behind the ranks of spearmen, we've got uh, swordsmen, swordsmen with shields. So they're all here. I also brought uh, a couple of units of flagellants, nothing crazy. Uh, just, I like their ability to, uh, they don't break really, so you can put them into a weak spot in your line and know that it's not going to falter, at least they won't. So a couple units of them. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have, and yes, there's a little something over here. Uh, we have mortars. I've got two units of mortars. I wanted to really make use of the... Uh, make use of the artillery the Empire brings. Definitely the best artillery in the game. We've got two units of Hellblaster volleys, one here and one on the other side, hoping to catch the army in kind of a crossfire. Uh, and then, as you can see, I've got a bunch of cavalry. So I just put Empire Knights. I wanted to put them in here because, you know, they're, they're decent cavalry, but they also are not the most expensive option when it comes to Empire Cav. So we got them on either flank, so two over here. And then I... Spent quite a bit of money here on Carl Franz. Uh, I got him ready to grow, ready to go here, and uh, so he put him on his on his, the best mount I could get him on. So he was set and ready to go. And then I also brought this mage here, a celestial wizard, and uh, he's going to do some damage. I also put a couple vanguard units way over here. Uh, they're just pistoliers, but I just wanted to use them to distract uh, or maybe take advantage of the fact that uh, Tim may not be microing enough, which is something that may have happened. Um, and now Tim's army. So let's take a look at it. I didn't even get to see the whole thing yesterday, so this should be cool. Looks like we got some cold one nights, so they're, they're, they're on their cold ones. These guys are badass. They're really, really cool looking too, man. The, the detail in this game is just insane. We have Black Guard of Nagaran, so these are an elite infantry unit. Okay, of course, they're really, really cool. We've got uh, a bunch of these Dark Shards uh, here, as you can see. There's Harganeth Executioner, so he really spent a lot of money on quality, quality soldiers. Of course, some traditional Dread Spears, nothing wrong with that, as you can see. And uh, Black Guard of Nagaran, so lots of good infantry. Uh, and some shielded missile units. He brought Malekith also on his dragon, so both of these these uh, legendary lords here are sporting their best possible mounts. And then over here, I think he's got some more Cold One Knights. 
and it looks like he brought a kinite assassin so there they are pretty badass looking dude right there he also dispatched a few vanguard units of his own and they really fucked me up and this was a really good start for him as we're about to see so let's go ahead and get underway here he just immediately opened fire I, can't, I, don't, I have no option to respond he just annihilates this unit here and I'm still kind of messing with my army and I didn't realize until right now and they're already breaking that fast they're breaking they're destroying my mortar unit before I even have a chance to respond so he's killed half of these guys oh, not my mortar these are my uh, hellbots and then my Empire Knight's gonna get some revenge here. They were pretty pissed off. But they did their damage. I mean, that was so worth it for him to, uh, to really affect my Hellblaster cannons. So here's the Hellblaster cannon already firing. He just decided to move, so I was like, all right, I guess I'll stay put. And here comes some mortar blasts. Into his ranks here. My artillery did some damage, but it didn't do enough damage, I found. Um, I don't know if it was accuracy or what. But, man, look at those. I and mean, that just tears them up. And then the mortars here. I don't know what made him stop. I think he was microing some other unit, maybe. Because, boy, this unit just got fucking annihilated. Oh, man. And then my handgunners open fire on the ranks here. They're coming up the hill. So this was not a fun approach for the Dark Elves at all. They were just getting destroyed by all of this artillery. I mean, it's like World War I out here, crossing no man's land. So this was not fun for these guys. I have a lot of respect for these Dark Elves soldiers just charging the... The bridge here, charging the gap, as they say, the breach, whatever you call it. So now they're firing back. So they're getting close enough to shoot back now. Come the arrows in here. Taking out my guys, they're firing down the ranks. So meanwhile, actually what we'll do is we'll go slow motion. And I brought my pistoliers up here to fire at his cult and he didn't even notice because he was moving his whole army up this at this point. So they're getting pretty messed up, and I'm bringing my cavalry in around the back here. So that's what's going on over there. Now, let's see, what else is happening? I've still got some cav over here that I'm waiting on, and his spearmen crash into my halberdiers here, so they I kind of move them over to protect the, the rockets. So that's kind of why I put them there. They get a little isolated because of that, so good move by Tim. And then I've got my spears here. And they're about to go up against these Harkoneth Executioners, which, whew, they're going to get effed up. And he, he got some great, look at this spell, right into my primary rank. Right as his troops get into my line. So that was really good timing by Tim there. Really, really good timing. He, he, he really did a great job. So, we've got all these units coming up here. They're taking pot shots at my guys here can't really fire back at them so I also I, I, you can tell I'm getting stuck I'm not microing here I'm losing units because I'm busy doing other things uh, which is the hardest part and then these guys be I mean doing these cold uh, just run my troops out. absolute slot absolute slot but we still have a battle going on in the middle here I just put a huge spell on this one we missed it but there will be more don't worry Blasted there, guys. My Celestial Wizard got quite a few kills in this fight. Charge them, you guys in here. Make sure we can reinforce this area. Got some units that were running away, coming back. He was landing more spells. So he was just, uh, he had the advantage for sure here. My, my troops fight on anyways. Oh boy. Kevin here and they're getting in a fight here. Carl Franz, Malekith. 
now I have troops are starting to run away. Like, hold the line! Hold the line! So we're still holding in the center here, and so I was, so he had kept getting into the spells. Now, meanwhile, my cavalry has charged into their archers, pretty much took them out. And I'm about to launch a spell here, my Celestial Wizard. Boom! Just destructive power. So it may not have been enough here as his cold knights sweep in to take their place. It's just too much for these these basic infantry units are just getting hacked to pieces by these elite infantry units. And that's just really, really having a rough time holding up this center line. And when my center collapsed, that was pretty much it. Those troops really just destroyed me. And then, because my Empire Knights were slaughtering their archers, he uh, went ahead and sent in the Black Dragon to turn the tide in the rear here. So I couldn't, they, these were, they were all tied up. I couldn't support my center line with my cavalry because they were tied up with archers and dragons and more fucking dragons. Pistoliers shooting at Malekith here, not enough. Pistoliers don't do a lot of damage. Pretty much using to distract <laughs> these guys just standing here. Good job, boys. I still have a shot, though. More of my men start to rally in here. It's kind of a mess. So I sent them back into the fight as long as I could, see if I could hold them. Unfortunately, I was pretty much out of magic this time. But I just kept trying to fight this dragon with my. Empire Knights, but it's uh, that's not really a winning fight there. And the same thing going over here. These, these, these dragons just fucked up my calf. Not only did they destroy them, but they just completely distracted them, tied them up the whole time back here. So. Good strategy by Tim there. And my entire line is gone. All my infantry destroyed, running, routed. And that was the fight. Um, so, Tim kind of beat the hell out of me. I did learn some things. That artillery, uh, I needed more. A big part of the battle was just having his, those those vanguard units open up right in my midst and uh, just making me react so fast. I didn't get to move my army anywhere. I didn't get to move them up or, or change position or anything. I just kind of was just stuck there. Uh, and he moved on me real quick. The artillery did a ton of damage, as you saw. I mean, they were just, an, I mean, I annihilated almost an entire unit of Dread Spears before they even crossed the plane. So, there's definitely potential there. Uh, just need a better use of it, and I uh, needed to be a little more wary of his uh, his vanguard units there that ended up spawning behind me. So, fun battle. We want to do more of these shorter episodes like this uh, every now and then. Of course, we're going to keep playing our Skaven campaign and other campaigns in the future. You know how it goes. They're pretty slow going, even an hour at a time. I mean, campaigns can go for hundreds of turns. So, we don't always finish them, but we're absolutely going to keep playing the Skaven campaign. Uh, we'll probably have that returning next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you like this uh, format, just doing the battle replay. We can do it with more people than just Tim and I. We can get four people battles and all kinds of stuff going on. So we'll all jump in and play, and uh, we'd love to do more of these for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will catch you next Friday for Total War Friday. Later!